Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, as you guys can see up on the screen. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about SoFi Technologies Incorporated. This is ticker symbol SOFI for those of you that don't know. And today was a really, really big day for SoFi stock. Now, obviously, if you're just looking at this here, um, this is just SoFi on Google and looking at the day they had, they were only up 2.55%. And you might say, how is that a crazy day? How is that a big day? Yes, 2.55, that's a good day. And hey, if I'm a SoFi shareholder, um, I'll take that. You know, you're never gonna be upset about being up 2.55% in a single day. Um, maybe unless you have like some short dated calls that you need some like 30, 40, 50% run up by the end of the week or something like that. Um, but overall 2.55, that's a strong day, but it's not an amazing day like I'm talking about. Um, but when we scroll down and we look at the rest of the broader market, look at the red look at the blood in the market today dow jones down three and a half percent over three and a half percent s p 500 down over four percent the nasdaq was almost down five percent and the russell was down over three and a half percent this is a disgusting day for the major indices and if this is what the major indices are down you can only imagine what individual stocks were down and you can imagine what uh like individual stock pickers were down i mean we're easily talking about people could be down five eight 10% today. And that's even before including, uh, you know, being involved with margin and stuff like that. This was an absolutely disgusting day on the market. 2022 has already been horrible in a lot of ways. Uh, and this was maybe the worst day of the year, which is really, really crazy. So the fact that SoFi not only did better than all of the major indices, but was actually green on a day where the rest of the market was disgustingly red, that is amazing news for SoFi. And we're going to be going over all the latest for SoFi in this video today. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, subscribe to today and all my latest content. And of course, as always, there's not going to be any financial advice in this video today. I'm not telling you guys to buy, sell, do anything like that. Just giving my thoughts and opinions on some articles, some posts, some stories. Uh, and with that being said, let's get right into it. So first, I want to talk about this from the SoFi Stock subreddit. Uh, somebody posted this, the fact that NerdWallet has an email marketing campaign pushing SoFi loans. Um, NerdWallet, uh, obviously like a really, really cool um, financial tool. Uh, they offer all kinds of different services, ed financial education, I guess, in a lot of ways. Um, a really awesome website app and a really, really cool thing that I love taking a look at, um, but also a lot of people, especially people looking to get into financial services for the first time, they will subscribe to it. They will check out the articles. They'll check out the website. They'll check out the app. I feel like it does cater kind of more towards um, people who are new into a lot of these stuff because it's fairly beginner friendly. Um, and, you know, it's all nice and colorful and they try to dumb things down for it and they try to make it really simple with, uh, you know, graphics and displays and graphs and all this stuff. Um, so there is a lot of new money on the table. A lot of people just getting into these things that maybe don't have as much money as some of these other big people, but they have money that they're able to bring to you. Um, and you know, NerdWallet here, they say personal loan rates are still low, but they're rising. And they say, um, no fees, low rate, sweet perks. It's not hard to see why SoFi is the 2022 best of award winner for best personal loan for excellent credit. The fact that you can potentially borrow five uh, to a hundred thousand with rates as low as 6.99% APR. Uh, and, and hey, this is what they're pushing out to people again, directly to their inbox. Uh, and like the top comment here says, hey, NASDAQ's down 4.6%, SoFi's up 2.83, enough said. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cool because this is obviously like earned marketing or earned media or whatever, where, um, you know, SoFi is not necessarily having to pay for this. This isn't, or I, I don't know, it says ad here, but it really shouldn't be something that they're buying uh, since they won the kind of best of award winners. So you hopefully you, you, you hope that SoFi is getting this advertising, this kind of free advertising based on merit uh, rather than paying for it or something. I'm not a hundred percent sure about that, but either way, this is cool that SoFi is getting uh, pushed out to the nerd wallet audience, which um, I, it's not the biggest service in the world or anything like that, but it's pretty significant in the financial services world. We have this uh, breaking news, the fact that SoFi Singapore has apparently been granted financial services licenses required for offering investment products. Uh, and then they have, uh, you know, kind of the license thing here um, saying SoFi Singapore, PTE LTD incorporated in Singapore, capital markets, uh, services, licenses, dealing in capital market products, securities, collective investment schemes, and exchange traded derivatives contracts and providing custodial services. Um, so this is a really, really big deal. Obviously, uh, having a, poten a potential opportunity to further grow their, uh, you know, international market and, and things like that is 
potentially really cool. Now, uh, I don't exactly know how uh, big Singapore is in the overall kind of story of, of SoFi and their growth and their stock at, at this point or into the future, but um, there's no way that this is bad news. Uh, so this was kind of cool, um, obviously working on that. There's a lot of people that say, hey, SoFi really needs to lock in on the United States and, and make sure they're being as successful as possible domestically first before they get too crazy going internationally. Um, but again, I don't think this is a bad sign. This should hopefully only mean more members, more money, more revenue, um, just kind of more good things for SoFi. So, hey, uh, we'll, we'll take good news, especially, like I said, 2022 has been a crazy year. All the stock market's getting killed. SoFi's down 53, almost 54% year to date. This is just in like five and a half months. Um, so, hey, We'll take any good news we can get. Um, we also have the fact that this guy posted he just became profitable. And I think this is actually very, very interesting um, because like I said, yes, SoFi is down 53.89% on the year. But when you take a look at those 52 week lows, which were hit, um, I don't even know, like a week or two ago. I mean, it's crazy how fast we've rebounded. We're up almost 40% like in the past week and in the 52 week low was $4.82. So, uh, you know, really from there, we're up closer to what? 60, 70, 80%, um, something like that. So uh, depending on when you're buying, where you're buying, when you sold, uh, how much you're buying the dip, uh, the amount of cash you have to deploy, there are people who even in a year where SoFi has been absolutely killed, there are some people becoming profitable. And again, this really shows how good SoFi has been doing. Uh, like I said, you know, up 35.9% over the past week and only down 2% in the past month. Uh, and again, depending on when, when you bought and where you bought, you could potentially be doing a little bit better for SoFi and I think that is uh, really good to hear because that's definitely not been the case for many people for most of the year, um, but things are turning around in a big way. We are significantly off the 52-week lows at this point, and we're not making new lows every day. Somebody else posted this, um, the fact that there is more insider buying. They posted this article, or not this article, this link, and it says, looks like another Form 4 disclosure of insider buying, if I'm reading this correctly. And the top commenter here says, yes, Harvey bought 15K shares five days ago. If we took take a look at where we were at five days ago, that'll take us to, what, the 13th, uh, where so far I was at 675. Uh, and then obviously, hey, we are up 7% from there. So, so far, so good uh, for Mr. Harvey. But yes, more insider buying. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean the stock's going to go up. Uh, so far, all the insider buying the stock's still always gone lower and lower and lower. Um, but obviously, I, I assume or hope that these people think this is a long-term investment and a profitable long-term investment. Um, so again, I would always rather have my insiders buying rather than selling. So I think it is a good sign overall, but it doesn't necessarily tell you the full story. Um, we have another post talking about how the SoFi app data adds text related to extended hours trading. And I do think that this is really, really cool, really exciting. And in kind of the, the the present ecosystem that we're in right now, as far as investing, you have to have the full uh, suite of services. If you're claiming to be a top financial institution, you're going to be offering investing. You need to have margin. You need to have options. You need to have extended hours. Uh, you need to have all these different things, especially if you want to attract uh, newer, younger investors. You know, if you if you want to steal away some some. I guess market share from from apps like Robinhood and stuff like that. Now that's not necessarily SoFi's main goal. They've talked about they want to break into the traditional financial institutions, you know, the big banks, and they want to kind of disrupt that whole industry. But uh, even those, a lot of those companies offer extended hours. A lot of those companies offer margin and, and options and all that stuff. So SoFi needs to be at least offering everything they are, if not even more and doing it better. So I think this is a big step in the right direction. I think this is something that's really, really cool. Uh, and then uh, this post I thought was interesting as well. Like it. How, uh, wow. How the tone in here has changed in just 10 days. I like it. Where did all the bears go? And like I said, yes, the, the kind of tone around SoFi has changed in a big way. And that's what happens when you are up 40% in a week. And, and all of a sudden people who are putting money into you are actually making money. You start outperforming the market. Yes, things can change very, very fast. Now, obviously, when the market keeps going, down and down and down. I am still worried about all the stocks in the market because overall the market tracks itself pretty closely. Um, but yes, yeah, some people are, are finally having some good things to say and doing some good things regarding SoFi. And I thought that was interesting as well because you see, uh, you know, articles being posted over the last couple of days. SoFi stock spikes, market may be over discounting uh, growth potential. You know, people saying that potentially SoFi is undervalued right now. Uh, and then this article as well saying SoFi shares have taken too heavy a beating ahead of significant earnings momentum, analyst says. Uh, and, you know, previous Obviously, everyone was saying SoFi is overvalued, SoFi sucks, SoFi, um, you know, it needs to keep going down and down and down and they're lower in their price targets and, and all this stuff. And now all of a sudden people are saying, hey, uh, things are looking better than ever. Things are looking oversold. Things are looking to be at a discount. 
And it's kind of interesting. Yes, it has all happened very, very fast, but the market moves fast. Things change fast. And that's why it's also hard to get in and out of the market because just as, as soon as you get out and things start going down, uh, you know, there's going to be those huge upswings. There's going to be those huge turnarounds um, and it's hard to keep up with and it's really, really hard to time. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Let me drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about SOFI. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on my latest content. I hope we catch you guys in the next one. But until then.